guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee. Um, today we are going to do a massive thrift haul. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram what you would prefer for me to split it into two videos or just do one really long one. And you guys said just a long one. So that's what we're gonna do. Definitely grab a snack and something to drink because this is going to be a really long video. I'm going to try to move through things as quickly as possible. Um, I won't spend a whole lot of time like describing each thing and like details and all of that stuff. I'll try to mention the price of it. Most of it was between a dollar and five dollars and if it's more then I'll try to say so. But just for the sake of not spending a ton of time on each item i'm going to kind of skip through the price thing um like i said unless it was over five dollars just because there's a lot of stuff and i'm gonna try to move through as quickly as possible so the first thing that we're gonna start with is like housewares like home decor um the first category though is gonna be like kitchen stuff um, just to kind of make this move a little bit smoother. I have kind of categorized things. So the first thing is going to be kitchen stuff. And that is these placemats. There's four placemats. Um, they're just this like woven stuff. Set of four. Like again, I think I got these for $3 for all of them. And then the second thing is this little cutting board that has like the marble and the wood. Um, I'll probably use this just to layer on my kitchen counters just for like pretties. Um, I think I paid a dollar fifty for this. The next two things are the same. They're just these little plates that have like this woven detail around the edges. Um, I will probably not use these in the kitchen. Um, also, before I move on, all of this stuff I'm not keeping. Um, a lot of it I bought for the purpose of reselling because my mom and I are going to open up a little like thrifted shop. And so a lot of the stuff I will not be keeping. So keep your eye out for that. Um, but. Yeah, I may keep one of these and use it for like jewelry or something like that because it is super pretty, but there are two of these. The next thing is this set of plates. They just have like a flowery detail around the edges. There's a set of six. I think I paid $2 for these if I remember correctly, but I think they're so pretty. Next are these little metal coffee cups. I got these for the purpose of camping because my husband and I are going to be doing a lot of camping this summer and I want to have some cups that we can just specifically use for that. So these will be perfect. I paid 50 cents for each of these. Next is this little jar. I don't really know what you would use this for because it's so tiny, but it was only a dollar and it is so cute. So I don't really know what I'll use it for, but love that. And next is this clear glass canister with a cork lid. It has like a really pretty star detail. I don't know if you can see that on the top. So cute. Next is this little cork. It's made out of wood. Um, there's a few jars that I have that need like a cork top and this was 25 cents. So I did go ahead and pick this up. Here we have a set of these little, again, I'm not really sure what these are for. Someone on one of my last thrift haul videos said that these could be for like banana splits. So I'm not really sure but there's a set of three. So I did pick these up. They were a dollar a piece. Next is these canisters. There is a set of four. I have them in my kitchen. 
Um, I'm not gonna grab the other two because, I mean, they all look exactly the same. There's one bigger and then one smaller than these, um, but they're just really pretty canisters. Okay, so I think, oh, no, I missed something. There is a set of these white canisters. Um, they're just white canisters with a silver clasp on the front. There's a set of four. Again, there's one smaller than this and then one in between these two, I believe. So, Excited about those. I paid three dollars a piece for them. And I think that that is it for the kitchen stuff. So next we're gonna move on to just housewares and like home decor, just random things like that. The first thing is this little jewelry box. It's just clear and it has gold around the edges and then the lid i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this because of the glare but it has um some hummingbirds and some flowers and stuff on the front i just love this it's so pretty and elegant next is this gold tray i'm gonna try not to like blind you guys with this mirror but it just has this gold detail around the edges and then it's just a mirror so really pretty i'm not super sure if i mentioned this before i don't remember but um a lot of this stuff i have been collecting over several months like a really long period of time so i definitely did not find all of this stuff at one time this is a collective thrift haul from you know several months some of it was found in 2020 like you know november december and then the rest leading up to now so this is the next thing this is just a cute little box it has Cute little clasp on the front with these little handles and I just thought that this was so cute and it could be used for several different things. You could use it for like a jewelry box or just to put like little keepsakes in. I like to have containers like this. Um, I'm a very sentimental person so I keep like Devin and I's special things in here like if you have movie tickets that you want to hold on to from like your first date or just random things like that these little things are so cute to put that stuff in next are these bookends they are just these like moose head bookends i thought these were so pretty they're so heavy so hold on a second <laughs> Okay, but they're so neat. I've never seen anything like these before, so I had to pick them up. You guys have already seen these in a previous video of mine, but I just love them, so I had to share. Next is this little wooden box that has a lid. Sorry if I'm looking like past the camera, I'm looking at a mirror to see if my thing is still recording. So sorry about that. But this just has like some little painted flowers on it. I'm pretty sure this was hand painted, um, but I just thought it was so cute and it was only $1.50. So I did decide to pick this up. Next is this little wooden hanger kind of a random thing to buy but I know that all you girls will probably understand I have hair extensions that I use you know for special occasions and stuff like that and my hair extensions came with a hanger similar to this it's just black and when I found this I decided to go ahead and get it because my other one is starting to break and so this is perfect for my hair extensions <laughs> Next is this little wooden tray. 
it has two slots, one right here and then one right here at the ends. So I thought that this would be good for burning incense. I'm not really sure what it's specifically made for, but that's what I will probably use it for because I love the color of it. Here we have a like little accordion, I don't know, rack hanger, I don't know. Um, it is missing one of the little wooden pegs, but honestly, I think I might just take this one off too. That way it matches and then I don't think you would ever really notice, but I'm excited to hang this up in my house. I missed a kitchen item, so I'm gonna go ahead and show that. I found this little bread box. It needs to be cleaned up, but I thought this was super cute. It's just this little bread box, and I've been looking for one of these for a while, and I know that I keep saying, I'm gonna use all this stuff, you know. Um, I probably will keep this because I have been wanting one for a while, so I'm excited about this one. Next, we're gonna move on to like shelving and then baskets. Um, this shelf, let me see, I think it goes like this. This shelf I found at, I don't know, I think it was Helping Hands. Um, I think I paid like a dollar fifty for it or two dollars something like that But it's just this simple wooden shelf with these pegs And it does have a little bit of damage right here But I think that I can just sand it down and maybe like restain it and I think it would be good as new So that's super fun Here is another little wooden shelf with a like hanging rod on it. This is super cute. I know I keep saying that, but everything's cute. This is really cute though. It's really small and just dainty and I love it. Next are these two matching shelves. These would be really pretty to just hang above each other be so cute. I paid three dollars a piece for these, so matching set. Okay, so this next shelf is too big to really fit in the camera, but it's really long. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of this like scalloped edge right here. What I would probably do is just like knock this piece out because it's like separate. So I'd probably knock this out and then these little hooks on the end, I'm not sure if you can see them. It has a wooden rod that they taped to the top that goes with it and you just put it across here and then you can hang stuff. So I thought that was really pretty. That was all of the shelves, so now we're going to move on to baskets. The first basket is this one right here. I just love this basket. I actually am using it as like our filing cabinet. I have all of our like important paperwork and stuff like that in here, but I think it is so cute. I just love it. And the buttons on the front. Next is this little basket. It is so pretty. I love the woven on the bottom and then the sides are really pretty. It does have a handle, but I would probably just, you know, leave the handle down. You don't see them like this very often, so I thought that was really cute. Next is this basket that has a lid. So pretty. And then these next two baskets I bought for the purpose of putting on my basket wall. Um, this one had some like really ugly ribbon like woven through this part 
and then it had something glued to the bottom and I just tore it off. This one is so pretty. It'd be really pretty on a basketball. And the next one would be really good for just organizing um, to put like in your pantry or in your bathroom or anything like that. Cause it's a really good shape for that. And this is the last basket. I actually already have macrame stuff in here, but I just love this basket because it is again, really good for organizing things and it's nice and sturdy. It has this liner in it and I just think it's really pretty. Super simple and a neutral color. <laughs> Okay, so the next category we're going to move into is like pictures and picture frames. I have quite a few, so we're going to try to go through this pretty fast. The first one that I have is just this picture. It has little flowers in it. I think this is so pretty. Also, you guys have probably already seen this on my shelf above my couch in another video. Um, but I just think this is so pretty. I paid 75 cents for this, I think. So that was a really good find. I'm always on the lookout for um, picture frames. I like wooden ones, obviously, but I like to find kind of unique shapes that you don't see very often because, you know, most of them are just square with the you know just square edges so when I find the rounded edged picture frames I like to pick those up so the first one is just this little guy has the rounded edges and the next one is also just small with rounded edges and here is a gold one with the rounded edges Here is a brass picture frame. It says that it is solid brass. I paid $1.50 for this. Again, it has the round edges. This one has a little bit of a detail on the top, which I don't mind. And this next one is just a wooden picture frame. It does have the square edges, but I like the color and I thought it was super pretty. Next is just another wooden picture frame. I feel like, ooh, hold on. I'm trying not to make this video too boring to watch, but I'm also trying to like move through it quickly because I know this is gonna be really long. So I apologize if I'm moving really fast. <laughs> this next picture is kind of just a preferred taste. I thought it was really pretty and someone will enjoy it whenever I decide to resell it. It's just this picture with some little girls playing in a field. I think that's a church right here. So really beautiful. And again, this next picture is a preferred taste. Not everyone is gonna like this, but I know there's a lot of people that do like these type of pictures. So I did end up getting it because it was only a dollar, um, but it was hand embroidered. And I just think that it is super neat that someone can actually do that. I don't know that I could do it, but I thought that was so pretty. It has a gold frame. I may end up painting it or something because this gold isn't really that pretty, but it's a really cute picture. This next frame is really big, so I'm not gonna be able to fit the whole thing in the picture, I don't think. Looks like this. 
I mainly bought this for the frame. I'm not, I don't like this picture, but what I'll probably do is just take this picture out and put my own picture in because it already has the mat around it and the frame color is very pretty. I did pay up for this. This was $10. Normally I would not pay that much, but I don't know. I really liked it and you can't really find big frames like this very often that are, you know, a neutral color. And if you go to buy these brand new, they're like 50 or $60, sometimes way more than that. So I did decide to just go ahead and get this. Okay, so before I move on, I actually forgot one more like decorative houseware piece that I had found. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that before we move on to linens. This is the piece. It's such a pretty jug and it has the rattan like woven around it. The handles are so pretty. Oh, it's really heavy. Um, but I think I paid $10 for this as well. So I did pay a little bit more for it, but I thought it was worth it because you don't see this type of stuff very often. Okay, so the next category is gonna be linens. Um, I need to wash and clean all of these. You guys, don't be scared to buy linens from the thrift store. I know a lot of people that freak out about it, but as long as you wash them really well and you know kill all the germs, they're perfectly fine. I can't tell you how many blankets and pillows that I have bought from the thrift store for just a couple of dollars and then just washed them on hot and never had any issues. So don't be afraid to buy linens. I know it seems kind of gross, but I promise it's fine. <laughs> the first thing is this little throw blanket. It's so pretty. I think, I think it was handmade. It looks handmade. Um, but it's just these like neutral creamy colors. This is like a light tan and this is a cream and it has these scalloped edges. Don't know if you can see that. I paid $5 for this and I think that it's so pretty. You don't find Afghans like this in neutral colors very often. Most of the time when you find them, they're bright and not my style. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up. The next thing is this, another throw blanket. Um, it just has like, I don't really know what the design is. I think it's just flowers. I could open it up and show you guys, but it won't fit in the picture anyway. So it's just this neutral colored throw blanket with fringe around the outside edges. And then the last thing in this category is this king size blanket. I don't know if it is vintage. It looks like it, but honestly, I couldn't tell you. Um, it kind of almost looks handmade, but I, again, I really can't tell you. Um, the edges do have this fringe, which is really pretty. It also has a design on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but it's like flowers on the design. Okay. So the next category is like, um, clothes and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is two pairs of earrings that I found that I really like. So just a second, let me grab them. Okay, so the first pair of earrings is just this gold pair. They have, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the detail. They have a little like floral detail on them. I don't know if you can see that. So really pretty. And then the next pair is just these, I think they're made out of clay, but I love the colors. And the design is really pretty. 
And then the next thing in this category is just gonna be this little hair scarf that I found. It's just like a black and white polka dot. I think that this is, I don't know, I like it a lot. Um, it's really simple. I paid 50 cents for this. Okay, and the next thing is a clothing item. It's just these white jogger style pants. They are so comfortable. I wear these all the time. I think they are originally from American Eagle, but I paid like $3 for them, I think. So really comfy. The next thing is this cardigan. This was a <laughs> impulse buy. I was actually in line to check out and I saw this from like across the room and I ran over and grabbed it really quick. Um, didn't even try it on, so that was kind of dumb on my part, but I ended up loving it and it's one of my favorite cardigans that I own now. Um, it was originally from Forever 21, so not really a great brand, but I do love this. The knit is really pretty, so that's fun. The next thing are these pants. I'm not really sure about these. I like them and I think that they could be cute, but again, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about them yet. So hopefully I can style them and make them cute. The next thing is this vintage sweatshirt. It's just a Carolina sweatshirt. I'm not really big on Carolina or I'm not, I don't know. I don't have any sort of connection to Carolina, but I thought this was really cute and cozy. So I ended up getting it. Okay, so the next thing is this men's like short sleeve button up shirt. I mainly just bought this for the material because it feels really nice. I'm not 100% sure what it's made out of. It feels like linen, but again, I could be wrong. I really don't know, but I mainly just bought it for the material because I can either one, try to figure out how to style this and make it cute, or I can cut it up and make something else out of it because I love the material. The next thing is just this Sherpa. I think that's how you say it, Serpa, Sherpa, I don't know. Um, zip up jacket with a hood. Normally when you find these, they're just like a pullover. So when I saw the zip up, I really liked it. So I think I paid $3 for this. And the inside is like kind of a t-shirt material. I don't know if you can see that. So it's really comfy. Okay, so the next three things are the last three and they are shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those. First up is this pair of brown leather boots. I think these are super cute and that they feel really good quality. So I'm hoping that I can make these cute. I don't know. They're definitely different, but I think they could be cute, styled the right way for sure. And then the second to last thing is this pair of hiking boots. I've been looking for a pair for a while and I didn't want to pay $100 for a pair of boots. So I found these for $3 and they're leather, so they'll do the trick. Nothing super special gonna use these a lot this summer. And then the last thing, which is my favorite pair out of all three of these, is this pair of Adidas high top tennis shoes. I think that these are so cute and I love high tops. So I was super excited to find these. I did pay $10 for these. Normally I would not pay that much, but it was a good deal and I never find these in my size. So I did go ahead and pick these up and I'm really excited about them. 
Okay guys, that was it for the thrift haul. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like and make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so that you are notified whenever I do upload something. Um, also, leave a comment down below what your favorite item was that I found. I know there was a lot, so maybe, I was just gonna say maybe one from each category, but that's a lot. So just pick your favorite item and leave a comment down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.